Hi, so um, a little unboxing video here. A um, little box has arrived today from America. And as you can see there, it's from Mike Snowdy. Um, so this is a, a knife I ordered some time ago, um, back in November 12, to be honest. Um, there have been some problems, um, but that's a, that's a discussion for another day. Um, so what's in this box is the Boss 2.0, I believe. Um, I had originally ordered the old style Boss, but basically, um, as far as I can see, um, Mike's come into sort of a collaboration with K-Bar Knives. I'm guessing they're going to do a pro production version of the Boss, and, and he's not actually allowed to produce it anymore. So just before I open this up, just an interesting point here. It's actually been open for inspection over at Mount Pleasant. Um, which, if you're a UK knife collector, normally means bad things. Um, as far as I can tell, they're in the uh, habit of basically confiscating any knife they can get their hands on. And certainly I've had a, a knife lost to Border Force recently, so it's nice to see it came through. No problems there. So let's just open it up. Assuming customs have actually left my knife in here. I'm sure they have. A bit of box. The certificate of authenticity from Mike. Dated 1st of September. Threw me a bit because those crazy Americans always write that differently. Give it authenticity. Some bits of paper, nothing else in there. Move that out of the way. Bit of packing paper there. And here, hopefully, it's going to be a knife. A bit of tissue paper, blue wrapping paper, and there you go. Put that pen there. Let's just in the bag. I think this is just a uh, <coughs> one of Mike's business cards just wrapped up just to take the end. Yeah, looks like a good idea to me. So there you have it. A Snowdy Boss. So as far as I can tell, this is, or as, as I'm aware, this is um, Crucible 154CM steel. Um, it's made by stock removal by hand. It's ground by hand. Obviously, this is the original sort of forging bark, if you will. I think that's the term. And then he works it to a, a very shiny mirror polish there. This is his um, paracord wrap, so basically he's got a couple of layers of, of gutted paracord there and he impregnates it with, with resin which forms a very very solid, as he describes a monolithic um, handle and as he wraps it Makes a nice little pattern. I think this is 3M reflective and glow in the dark. Nice little lanyard, the same material. His etch logo there. You can see how shiny that is. That is a good mirror polish. The lashing hole hand applied jimping there and this is a chisel grind so it's only ground on one side and has a bevel on the other I'm slightly I expected that bevel to be a lot smaller. 
Look at that. I have to work out how I'm going to sharpen that. Because I thought this grind would have no secondary bevel and there'd just be a, a tiny, tiny secondary bevel on this side. But believe me, that, that feels pretty sharp. We'll do a little bit of a paper test, paper cut test in a second. Um, so just, just to sort of highlight what's changed from the normal boss to the uh, boss 2.0. Um, basically, I, I think... As I said, you know, it's something to do with his relationship with K-Bar Knives, but he's got a lashing hole now. He's got the uh, the additional hand applied jimping, so I guess all all extra added value in terms of it, in terms of his time. And you've got some flaming up here, which just gives it a bit of an industrial look. Right. Okay. Let's cut some paper. I hate doing this. Because I always worry about doing a knife justice. Um, but I don't think really there's any chance of me getting this wrong. That's pretty damn sharp. Let's try a bit of, uh, sort of foam book paper. That is amazingly sharp. If you watch my other videos I can I can make a sharp knife look dull sometimes, but that is extremely sharp. So the question is, what's Mike Snowy do to his bevel that other knife makers don't? Because that really is amazingly sharp. So just for just to finish off now, um, it is a relatively small knife. I'll uh, compare it to my only other um, handmade knife, which is also relatively small, and that is a Michael Morris, um, one of his file knives. So this is a an EDC 60, so it's a six inch knife, just side by side. And the boss has got just as so much handle, a little bit more blade. Just uh, holding the hand there. It's just the right size. It's a small knife, but very functional. And what else should we compare it to? Um, another fairly well known knife, the Spyderco UKPK. Very right about the same size. And another little pocket knife, the Spyderco Pingo. So there you go. Well, I think it was worth the wait. A very nice little blade. Um, I'm not sure how Mike's going to be selling his knives in the future. I think things are going to change. He'll probably be using secondary dealers, I, I believe. Um, but that is pretty damn good value for money. Okay, well, thanks for that. Bye bye.